We want to show you guys our valve tool, little bit of kit. Uh, it's for taking out the valves and fitting the valves, or I say the valve collets. It works brilliantly. I'll show you how it works. We've got this little rubber pad, which is designed to fit in the hemi of the head, like so. And what it does, it stops the valves being pushed down and doing any damage up against the bench. We lay that under there. We've got two tools, obviously one for fitting the valves back in or the, the collets back in and this one to remove. And it's as simple as put it over the end of the valve, holding it square. Make sure you're square, you don't wanna be bending the valve. Good size hammer, one tap and away you go. Evacuated both of the collets. I might have to tip the head up to get that one out. There it is. And the same for the exhaust side, lay it on. Get it square, one bounce, and they're out. So installing them, we use this tool, the one with the plunger, like so. We don't use a hammer to put them in. So we get our springs in first, and then it's easier if you fit the collets into the top cap, like that. And then rest it on top of the valve like so and lift the head up and you can just give them a light squeeze just to settle them down all the way i'm going to turn the head this way to do it that way in straight on top of the valve collets one push down and look they're in straight away and for the exhaust side the same thing you've just got to make sure you've got your shim underneath the valve spring seat and the valve stem seal so drop our springs in Outer, inner, the top cap. I've got the collets in there already. I'm gonna lay that on top, give it a light, just push down so they're there. Now you can see they just sort of rest in there. And with the tool again, you turn it this way, it's easier to do it. On top of the valve, one push, like so, and they're in. Now they're both in, all we do just to seat them fully is to get a, a punch of some sort, just a nice flat one. One little tap just to bed that one, spin it round, we'll do the same on the, well this is the inlet, and then we know they're fully seated. There's a few other of these kits available, uh, some on eBay that we've tried, but the problem is with them, they've made the spring too firm in here, so what happens is when you try and push it down to put the collets in, it fires them out, it, rather than this progressively going in, keeping the collets in line. So that's why we do this particular one and we know it really works.